Good morning. Today is August 21st, 2022. Unfortunately, uh, this is my second recording. The first recording, somehow the audio got cut off and I don't know what happened. Uh, I was doing my usual daily word games vid uh, video and the audio just cut off after 3 minutes, 50 seconds or something. So if you're looking for that video today, I do not have it. And that's too bad because, you know, I can only do this once per day as I'm solving it as I go. So anyway, let's go with this one over here. Now this is actually a missed opportunity, even though if you look at the evaluation here, like three great moves over there. Mm, no blunder over there. So this is actually a good game, but it could have been so much better. Let's get them move on. And that's more than defense 54 opening. And really, I don't know why it stops there. Oh, of course it stops there because uh, this crazy move. And actually, I like games with blunders because this, those are the most interesting games. I'm not interested in getting a high rating. I'm interested in having the most fun games, to have the most fun position. So, yeah, I like games with blunders. Questionable uh, move over here. The same move would be to move this pawn over here. That would be uh, that would be a same move, but yeah, I like games with questionable move. And there you go. And that knight there is uh, is in a very strong position over here. Uh, basically threatening this pawn over here. And as you can see, that cannot touch up my queen over here. So knight against queen. That's a good knight. That's a very good strong knight. Positionally, if you look at the evaluation here, that's very strong. That's that's good advantage. And this is about as high as the position can give for white. So white has a very strong attacking position over here but something happened that's having uh, totally normal moves over here no mistakes nothing uh, until at move 30 where it's brilliant three brilliances one after another and something happened with what that basically just keep going down and going down and going down. It's like magic. Let's move on. And again, this knight is in very strong position because there's no pawn attacking it. And the knight here cannot easily exchange with this one. Takes a few moves and that's waste of tempo. So that's where the strong knight. <coughs> and I happily treat this pieces because as you can see this pawn is hanging and the queen here is very tempted to take the pawn. Queen's not supposed to do that because the queen is guarding this square over here, which will fork the rooks over there. So, so just as uh, white knight is chaining up black, black king, uh, black queen, black knight is chaining up white queen, so, and he took the bait. So. At this point in time, that's when the tide turns. Now, uh, if you look at the position here, evaluation, 
here. That's not too much. That's because even though I'm ahead in material, this rook here is passive, and I have to somehow activate the rook in order to win. And again, it's not until move 30 that I managed to do that. Let's keep going. And that's a good move. I am much more If I fall into temptation into trading the queen, then my attack would be gone. I, I will no longer have any attacking possibilities. So I decided not to. And that this pawn move over here is to guard this square from the queen. So queen can go harass the king and I don't want that to happen so that's why I moved the pawn over there now for here you can tell even though you know it's the best move the queen is still guarding this pawn over here because two attackers over here so I need two defenders so yeah the, the knight is chaining by this position he is chaining the queen to, to this square over here and when the knight moves away I know my queen is free from there and that's a mistake uh, loses material it's not obvious how the material is gonna how white can lose material but it will it does so that's threatening this point right here. One way to lose material. And that's a beautiful move right there. That's a bad move. And there you go, that's brilliant move number three. Uh, number three, yeah. Uh, one after the other. And basically this point st st does what cannot save that pawn? And what means to move the king from there so it's no longer a fork? And this is great. This is great because notice that it's basically threatening this part, this piece, and check. So it's like triple attacks, very strong. With double attacks, that's a strong move. With triple attacks, you cannot defend that. There is one problem, however, that this rook is hanging, and I have to do something about that. And this is what happened. I took the rook because it has, uh, you know, the highest piece value. Uh, on the board and I did calculate the winning game of word here it's not easy let me show you real quick and that looks gonna go right and notice that we're on the end game now and I have a rook against knight and Basically, what just loses over here? The knight, I mean the rook, will cut this line over here so the king cannot go here. The king can only go up and down. After that, the king will go forward over here attacking that, that knight. And what loses? Now the way would be if the king manages to go there the rook can just go here and take the knight because you know once the knight go away pawn over here not takes back and that's it white wins so I mean black wins so that's this one says you know that is good but you can tell that's actually 
how bad what position is because that's it right there and and I win just like that so let's go back to that position over here right here so what I should have done is I should have done I should have taken this thing over here and you can see all the mating combination so that's the best move but that's not the magic that, that's not where the magic happens and excuse me this one and this move is where the magic happen because what happened is this threatens the rook to go here so really there's no choice because that pins the queen to the king and white is basically stuck the only uh, the only good move is for the queen to move here and then the king will have to go back I mean what is still winning because what are you going to do next you cannot do anything if the rook moves here which is you know a good move I suppose queen goes here rook goes here and stuck and what is stuck over here probably uh, pawn goes here and and mid. so that's the magic that's the magic game that that could have happened if I moved the king over there I didn't move the king so I missed that opportunity to have this wonderful beautiful magical game I suppose better luck next time so anyway, thank you for today and see you tomorrow.